Good morning. Welcome into Consolidated Connects. Here with Consolidated Construction Services, I'm John Lusher. We come to you each week at 9 o'clock on Ustream.tv, right here where you're watching this, uh, with helpful tips and hints and suggestions, things for your home and your business, uh, things about the restoration and remodeling industry. At Consolidated Construction Services, we are your one call for anything related to your home or business as it relates to disaster, water loss, fire damage, storm damage, anything that happens in the home or in your business that causes damage to the structure or to the building. Uh, we're happy to work with you and you can call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 540-725-3900. If you have topics that you would like covered here on Consolidated Connects, just give us a call or shoot us an email. You can reach me at john at ccsroa.com. Thanks for joining us. As we know, it's been very cold lately here in central and southwest Virginia, and some people, unfortunately, are experiencing a common problem with cold and winter weather, frozen water pipes. Uh, I want to go over some tips today as far as how you can thaw out your water pipes safely if this happens to you. Of course, one of the uh, hazards of this kind of weather, these frigid temperatures and, and winter weather that we're having, is frozen water pipes. Water obviously expands as it freezes and creates tremendous pressure on your pipes, which in turn can cause them to uh, break and cause damage in your home. If you discover that you have frozen pipes, there are some ways that you can safely try to thaw them out. First thing that you need to do is start by turning on every faucet in the house, including bathtub faucets. This will help you to determine exactly where the freeze or the blockage is. For an example, if you have water coming out of a kitchen faucet but not one in a bathroom, it will help you to isolate exactly where the problem is within your home. If you have no water running, it could be one of the main water supply lines coming into your house. Second thing that you need to do is locate the main water shutoff valve. If you do not have a main water shutoff valve clearly marked in your home, I would suggest that you hire a plumber, $80 to $100 uh, probably to, to have them come out for an hour, and have this taken care of for you. Have them check the shutoff valve, clearly label it. If it's been the same valve for several years, maybe have them replace it. It'll be money well spent. If you need a good plumber, give us a call here at Consolidated and we can help you out. But shut off the main water supply and then work to find out where that frozen section of pipe is. Uh, now with the water turned off, uh, as far as options to thaw the pipe, one is to use towels soaked in hot water. Wrap around the pipe and then continue to pour hot water onto the pipe and onto the towels that you have wrapped around the pipe until the pipe is completely thawed. If the hot towel approach doesn't work, you may try a hair dryer or a heat gun. A heat gun is like a hair dryer on steroids. Uh, the key to both of these, a hair dryer or a heat gun, is to continuously move the hair dryer or heat gun along the section of frozen pipe. If uh, that doesn't work, you may need to keep doing this over and over again to thaw out the pipe. Uh, obviously, you'll know that you've uh, achieved success whenever you start getting water coming out of the faucet that you've tested before, even if it's a trickle. Go ahead and leave it turned on and go back to thawing it out with either the hot towels and hot water approach or the hair dryer and heat gun approach. Now, if you have a situation where it is coming into the house, you're going to have to do the same thing, but with the main water supply line coming into the house itself. Of course, you may want to call your local water authority to make sure it's not something in their main lines, but chances are it's coming into your house. Uh, if your pipes have frozen, chances are they will freeze again. Uh, some things to keep in mind is wrap outside pipes, water pipes, or pipes located in crawl spaces or under houses, wrap them with insulation. Insulate them and wrap them with coverings that you can get at your local hardware store. Also, when the temperature drops, if you have kitchen sinks and cabinets where uh, exposed pipe are under the cabinet, open up the doors to those cabinets and keep the temperature in the house turned up. Keep the uh, temperature or the thermostat at a constant temperature all day and all evening so that it'll keep those pipes from freezing. And one of the last thing, one of the oldest tips out there is to keep a small drip or small trickle of water running if you're afraid that your pipes will freeze. Now, obviously that is wasting water, but it's a whole lot better than freezing and bursting your pipes. If you have an incident where your pipes do freeze and then thaw and then you develop a leak, 
And that's one thing. Once you thaw the pipes out and water is flowing freely again, you need to check for leaks. But if you have that kind of an instance, obviously call a plumber right away. If it does extensive damage or if it's a leak that goes unnoticed for a period of time, give us a call at Consolidated. We can come out and evaluate uh, the amount of damage and what the source is, and we can go from there. So just some tips as far as uh, your pipes for this frigid winter weather that we've been having lately. We're hoping for a little bit warmer temperatures, but we'll have to see what happens. Uh, join us each week at Wednesday for Consolidated Connects here on Newstream.tv. You can also find Consolidated online at insurancerestorationva.com. We are on Facebook as well as on YouTube and right here on Ustream where you can find archived copies of the show. Again, call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 540-725-3900 and we'd be happy to cover a topic that you would like covered here on Consolidated Connects. Again, for Consolidated Construction Services, I'm John Lusher. Have a great day.